Give me everything. Yes, we're going to do it. We're going to get this taken care of here this week. Uh, I got rewards and stuff. Wait, oh, whoa, look at that. Happy Easter. We get some additional loot that is just given to us in the mail and we don't need a CD key code. So cool. Heroic summons, profit orbs, gems, all things that we need. So I will take it. However, it is time to go in on this event. We've already got a lot of things here and we are going to do the entire rabbit doll manual, uh, which will then also give us uh, tons of pickaxes that we need to do as well. But pickaxes are separate. Uh, what I want to do is I want to grab all these rewards, especially after the little disappointment I had previously. Now, I think honestly, oh man, I probably just keep getting core chests. Sublimations are a different topic though. I don't really need sublimations, so I'm not going to take it. And then I think this is what we're going to go for. I like how there's no option for divine power Aurora gems or scattered sphere vein. It's just you pick one or the other. So let's go through this. Let's get all these rewards. Now, we're going to make, uh, I guess you can only do any option one time. So that as we go through this, the options are going to get less and less. And beyond that, the clothes are going to become less and less. That kind of sounds wrong the way that came out. But you guys know what I mean. The options for clothes are going to be less and less. And in order to get to the light, the dark, and the transcendence, you need to first do all of these right here. You need to do all the normal four faction, which means... Yeah, you're getting all the rewards, technically. Uh, I don't know if we're building really weird-looking rabbits here. I haven't even looked at the left side of the screen because, let's be honest, the only thing that matters is the reward. So, we're going to jump in here as well. Uh, now we can start picking what we want. We're going to get some cores on the first pick. We're going to get some toolboxes here. We're going to get an orange artifact chest. And then we're going to be getting these guys, which are individual shards what they're on the original six? Oh my god are you kidding me come on game <laughs> come on game i mean i got some low standards for what I, I i expect sometimes and sometimes you still take me out at the kneecap <laughs> all right it is what it is let's get all these rewards let's make the light style which cool cool and then last but not least i think is dark but oh wait i forgot I haven't done everything just yet. I kind of forgot. I only did the first little grouping of wishing coins so far. So we have to do a lot more of them. We have a total of how many actually? 1883. I think we need to use every last one of them at this point. Uh, but that's not a big deal. And honestly, the wheel is the wheel. I, I mean, I guess we could refresh it to try to get better spirit. Oh God, we got worse spirit. 50k. 50k no i did oh, i'm just wasting gems it's still 50k come on man 100k well, you know what fine we'll take it we'll take the 100k it's fine i just wasted like 200 gems for absolutely nothing and i feel foolish but whatever it's fine don't don't worry about it we're still good we're still good so let's power through all these this will give us the rest of the currency that we need here this will do all nine times loops uh, honestly it was kind of weird for once like between what we did the other day which was like around 400 and what we have left over here uh like the value packages for once came in huge because i actually needed everything from this like i needed every last bit so let's just uh i think oh no i didn't mean to do one times i didn't mean to do one times what i meant to do is take all this loot out and it bugged out sweet as always always messing up uh but that should now finish out this portion of the event i believe uh so let's jump back to our main server here and see what our grand total is there we go that's the 150 we were missing i was like wait a minute how are we short at this point i know we're supposed to be able to finish this out easter lily and the dark clothes there we what that's that's the color choice they went with the dark outfit whatever uh so we get the one million stellar the core of origin chest the artifact chest the spiritual essence the divine power roar gems the divine power roar gems and scattered spirit vein and the scattered spirit vein which then also gives us the grand total which i don't know if it just gives it to us instantly i guess i guess <laughs> I don't know. All I know is we got a lot of stuff and I still have no clue what I'm going to do with it just yet.
I guess there's only two other things we technically should do. One is we have a ridiculous amount of gems because of these value packages. We might as well just buy all these things up, mainly because we want more of these fun, foolish fantasy uh, starry gems, which we'll do probably later this week. But we also have the Sky Labyrinth to do. And because we bought this out for the first time in forever, we're actually going to go with Sword Flash. It's a very weird strategy, but that's what we're going to do. And we're going to get a ton of fantasy starry gems. So let's go ahead and smash this out and see what we can find uh on top of that we are going to get a couple treasure maps i think like two is two as as many as you can get i actually can't remember at this point so one thing is uh if you are watching this and you are new to the game don't ever pick sword flash for this you always want to go a combination of asmodel and scarlet queen halora because this hero only ramps up over time and if you're not using her uh for like a ton and i mean a ton hundreds of pickaxes she doesn't become the better option until much later in the run because of the way of her active skill building up to be better and better over time so we're gonna get all this cleared out here we're gonna get tons of these fantasy star resources and everything uh and for some reason it's not giving us our two times do those come in the mail i thought that i thought it always popped up two times Oh, there's our first portal there. And this basically is gives us a free bounce of resources. So that's always nice to see. Continue down. And let's see how many floors we can actually finish out here. Because again, we haven't had a good event, like a big event like this on a Sky Labyrinth in forever. So we haven't really done this in forever. Because normally, even the events that have been bigger that landed on a Sky Labyrinth event, you didn't need to do Sky Labyrinth in order to get all the rewards. Because it was usually with like a Starlight Melody or a star Summer Melody, which like very limited amounts of it came from this portion of the event. It was still just do the seven, uh, six or seven floors and then just be done with it. And it cared about Soul Awakenings, Profit Orbs and all that other nonsense. Not really so much this right here uh so yeah we're gonna keep working our way down we're at one treasure map shard out of three for the second grouping we got a mysterious artifact selection chest off of this uh and this one is good we're getting these sky chests which are essentially just going to give us either stellar shards i think or uh star spawn cores and star spawn cores turn into more cookies which are more soul awakenings for our star spawn my goodness we're like only halfway through this i feel we started with like 600 something right this is such a long journey holy cow the interesting thing is we're gonna have a lot of these soul awakenings to do on foolish so we'll have to see how many sss's we actually hit. i know i kind of baited y'all on the free to play account the other day because i even had a free soul awakening to do like right at the beginning of the video so i kind of clickbaited a little bit in a way but it's not it's not really because it was our first ever s tier we have ever summoned it just so happened it was like a 1.5 percent chance instead of a 0.0015 percent chance with normal soul awakening so yeah it is what it is let's finish this out 168 to go we got another sky chest two right nope that's a sky chest three uh, we're actually getting tons of pickaxes along the way too each floor is giving us three to four which is just perpetuating and pushing along how far we can go in this event more treasure charm coupons which is good too that is the one nice thing about this is we are also getting treasure train stuff which we'll get to probably tomorrow uh, and that'll be a big power up for our account as well let's see how far we are there's another three right there we got to keep pushing all right down to 61 down to 38 more treasure train coupons is awesome 12 uh we can buy some for gems too i actually forgot about that let's see where we're at we are oh yeah we still got plenty of plenty to go so let's just buy all 40 of these that'll buy us a couple more floors and then we'll see where we end glorious relics oh actually no there's kind of no point doing that i guess yeah we're getting glorious relics but all the other rewards stop is like just glorious relics so it's not as good but sure that's fine it is what it is we're good right there
So that's everything for today. Tomorrow we will do more things. We'll do more of our eggs. We'll do a giant soul awakening session for Foolish when we have everything unlocked. Yeah, we'll see exactly what we can get here. Hopefully you guys enjoy this one. Let me know what you guys think about the Easter event. It's honestly really, really good. And I'll see you guys next time.